Hey, I'm revisiting this combi lock Berg Victor 8840 fun. Now, for this lock, it seems usually with this these sort of locks with the false gates, I try and see which wheel is binding the most, which is toughest to turn, which are the ones closest to this end. But it seems with this lock, it's more important to start at this end. And in fact, when I try and put all the wheels in false gates, it's easy to find false gates here. It, it jumps into false gates, even though it's the wheels are easy to turn to get into false gates. Once I'm in false gates, yep, they're loose, but they do not want to come out of here. These ones, it's tighter to, tighter to turn the wheel, but it's harder to find a false gate. So although this is binding to turn the wheel, this end is actually binding in that one it, it can easily find gates and, and it does not want to come out of those gates with shackle tension. Therefore the binding order should be the ones that find the gates and doesn't want to come out of the gates easily, i.e. start at this end. And it's really important to um, choose the right binding order when decoding these locks because just like pin tumbler locks, when picking those, binding order can be quite important. Okay, so I'm going to start at this end and I'm going to try and make sure all the wheels are in gates. This has already been set to a combination that I don't know and um, the first two jumped into gates um, easily. Uh, these other two, it's difficult to know maybe it sort of jumped here so maybe since this has um, gates on every second wheel so this will be evens 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 but let's test that theory so i'm going to start at this end as i say now they're all in gates hopefully that'll give the teeth um maximum chance of 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 trying to trying to go through the gates to uh to try and show up the true gates from false gates. So I'm going to start here. So this wheel turns quite easily, easier than than some of these other gates. I'm still going to pick on this wheel as I say. This is the correct one to do for this lock. And I'm trying to find out which is the loosest gate or the one with most play. And that will be the true gate. So this one turns this amount Go to next even, this amount, this amount, this amount, make sure these are still okay, that has a lot of play too. So I tested all of them and two seems to have the most. Now if I'm right with this, it'll since I'm doing it in the correct order, it'll make the second wheel um, I'll be able to find the true gate as opposed to the false gates. If I didn't do it in the right order, then it's really hard to distinguish true gates from false gates for the other wheels. So, zero only turns this much, it's quite tight. Next one, eight is looser. Not as loose as this, but I'm looking for the loosest gate for this wheel that's even looser. I'll just check that 6 is looser than 8. Yep, 6 is looser than 8. Check the other ones. Tighter, tighter, and tighter. So I'm happy with 2 and 6. And now, that's that much play that much, that much, that's looser, 6 is looser, 4 is even looser, 2, two is loose as well, okay so I'm going to have to double check, double check, so 2 is really loose, 
four. It's it's quite at least two. Six. So that's between four and two. Four quite loose. Two seems maybe even looser. Anyway, if it's not two, it's four. So I can go to this wheel, start turning it around. If I've got these, all these other ones right, anyway, then just turning it around. Doesn't seem to click into gates easily. It could be four. Turning this round and the lock's open. Okay, so it wasn't two, it was four. I find that doing it in the correct order, that's the fastest way to decode this lock. And I was able to open it faster than my previous video. It didn't give me so much of a fight. Thanks.